once given me on my birthday, a collection of short stories. Well, I started to reread one of those stories. It was about a man who wakes up and cannot bring himself to go to bed. He shuts his eyes and suddenly he stands. He re-examines his life. He sees for the rest of his He packs his bags, cuts all ties, and can no longer live among the people he knows. They paralyze him. He is mind. He goes to Rome. He wants to burrow under the earth like a bomb, like a boot. But even in Rome, he cannot escape people from his former life. So he decides to return to the city where he was born and educated, but which he can't quite bring himself to call home. The move doesn't help. He feels he has no more right to return than a dead man. What can he do? He desires an extreme solution to his conundrum. He aches for nothing less than a new world, a new language. Nothing changes. Out of indifference, and because he can't think of anything better to do, he decides once more to leave his hometown to do some hitching. A man picks him up to ride off into the night when bang, the car smacks into a wall. The driver dies. Our man is hospitalized. Wishes for life. He has a confidence in himself, in things he doesn't have to explain, things like the pores in his skin, all things for poor. He can't wait to get out of it, away from the infirm and the monotone. I say unto thee, rise up and walk. None of your bones are broken. See, when I read those words, rise up and walk, none of your bones are broken.
desires an extreme solution to this conundrum. He acts for nothing less than a new world, a new language.